Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to explore two famous tourist attractions in Harbin. The first place we are going to visit is St. Sophia's Cathedral. Then we will be taking a late night stroll exploring the famous Central Street. Both these places are heavily influenced by Russian culture. Hi everyone, so we just came to our first uh, destination in our itinerary for today, that is the St. Sophia's Cathedral in uh, Harbin Central. This is a Orthodox church built by the Russian uh, people who used to live in Harbin uh, many years ago. Uh, now it's a tourist attraction. Uh, it's quite famous around the world as well. Um, so today the temperature is negative 9 since it's uh, almost end of uh, February. Uh, usually it goes down to negative 30 in Harbin, but today it's okay. Um, so yeah, when you come, do come to Harbin, uh, don't forget to check this place out. It's very beautiful and uh, wear proper clothing and be careful on the ground because uh, wear proper shoes so you don't slip. Uh, this cathedral was built by the Russians who used to live in Harbin in early 1900s. Uh, it was active till the Great Leap uh, Forward movement that happened uh, during the Cultural Revolution in China. Uh, during that period, this church was closed and it remained closed until 1997 uh, when, it, when the Chinese government finally decided to open it as a museum. The cathedral site is always popular amongst the tourists. They are always here taking pictures, selfies and just enjoying the sights. All right, so this is the entrance. Uh, you can uh, come and join the line here and there's an app that you have to scan. And through the app you can make the payment and go inside. It takes about uh, 30 minutes to see inside the cathedral. What they have are some old paintings of uh, Saint Sophia and some other patron saints uh, of the Orthodox uh, sect. Um, so when you do come here, this is the entrance and the exit is on the other side. Right, now we are at the Central Street. This is our second itinerary for the day. Let's go and check it out. So this is the hub in uh, Central Street. Uh, as you can see around me, there is a Russian uh, liquor shop, a Russian sweet shop and also a Russian bakery. So this street has a lot of Russian influence to it. Uh, if you're in Harbin and you fancy some Russian sweets or drinks or whatever, this is the place to come. Uh, you, you can't miss it, it's right dead bang on uh, Harbin and it's very popular among tourists. So next time when you're in Harbin, do uh, pay a visit to this street and you will uh, find many things interesting. The street doesn't allow any motor traffic, it's only for walking. And as anywhere in Harbin you can see many ice, ice sculptures like this uh, bunny rabbit. Because this is the year of the rabbit. This street is always popular with tourists. So it's always crowded. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so we are inside one of them uh, Russian sweet shops and uh, they just don't sell sweets, they sell souvenirs as well. Um, it had, they have a wide variety of uh, chocolates, biscuits, uh, toffees and even liqueurs as well. So and <laughs> in, this, uh, in this shop you can even buy handbags. So yeah, it's a very interesting uh, place and uh, got a variety of stuff uh, you can uh, buy and enjoy. I see some uh, coffee as well. And these are honey. And uh, on my side there are some Russian uh, sweets like pancakes and uh, some biscuits. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some shopping here, buy some sweets. So this is another shop, um, this shop has more varieties of sweets, uh, biscuits and even meat, sausages and we can see the liquor section over there and even cigarettes but the cigarettes I think they are made in China and here we can see the vodka selection, this is all local Russian vodka and here we have some uh, herbal liquor this is very special and there are small vodkas these are like fruity flavored ones this is a very strong vodka After all that walking around, I'm feeling hungry. Let's go check out what this guy has to offer. All right, he got some nice fat sausages and some hot spicy squid and some other street food available. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the sausage. Looks quite delicious and it's really big. Right, I'm asking him to make it quite spicy and we are just having some small talk where I'm from and all that and he's quickly dipping it in oil and gonna dip it in the spicy mix and at that same time i just made the payment using alipay uh, using the qr code displayed on the wall and that's it it was only 10 rmb and those are the sausages i'm gonna have all right can't wait let's see what he has to offer and these are the other things he's selling there's octopus squid yeah, right, my sausage is ready. I'm gonna take a bite. Right, it's hot, but it's perfect food for the cold winter in Harbin. Delicious. Right, this is something special. There's a very unique uh, specialty bakery in this street. And if all these people are queuing up to buy bread from that place. Um, I think they have some specialty bread. <laughs> I want to go in but the queue is too long and it's freezing outside. So maybe next time. Guys, if you're into bodybuilding and stuff, I mean it's really good. But don't do steroids. Look at this guy. All is good but oh my god. Ah yeah. So I'm telling you, don't do steroids. Do it naturally. Otherwise you end up like this guy. <laughs> and one other thing guys, I know you love your woman. But don't let your woman handle your balls. Look at this lady. She literally got that guy's balls at her feet. So guys, remember, don't be this guy. Okay, we are going inside Euro Plaza, as the name suggests, it should have uh, European shops. We're gonna check inside, see if 
if there's anything uh, we fancy and do a little uh, night shopping trip. Okay guys, so that was our trip of Harbin Central Street. Uh, we're gonna head back to our hotel and tuck in for the night. And we hope to see you in another video. Until then, bye-bye.